hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is where we are now remember we cut these things in the last video so all i did was to gather each of the two one after the other and then back so we have the first one second one third one and the bridal satin on the lane here so at the end of everything we are going to weave this place we're going to be joining the upper bodies now i forgot to mention this to us in the previous video you need a soft net for the upper bodies you know it's just for you to be able to decorate or you know to put accessories stones beads and everything you don't put stones and beads directly on your satin fabric you need to use your soft net to do that so the upper body is going to be having three layers that is the soft net the main satin and the lining which is also my satin fabric so first of all what we are going to be doing is to join the neckline together right side facing right side you join the neckline so guys remember that we left two inches here and in the previous video I told us that at the end of the day we are going to be left with one and a half inch so the excess here now is half inches that half inch we are going to share it between the sleeve and the neckline that means we are joining this neckline with quarter of an inch and the sleeve with quarter of an inch okay so we'll join the neckline together and we'll join the sleeve together because it's going to be sleeveless okay so after stitching we're going to be giving it a notch the neckline the arm hole for it to sit well okay and you trim off the excesses You give it a nice press and at the end of the day this is what we are going to have so i'll do the same for the back and i will show you guys at the end of the sewing we are left with one and a half inches okay so this is what you should have so guys here is the back piece and here is the front piece okay so we're going to be joining the shoulders together now so watch me all you need to do is to bring the two shoulders together like so make sure they are together they are aligned they should be the same thing then flip this part like make it Use your hand to push it inside, okay, like this. So this is what we have. Try to align it. So once you're satisfied with what you have, once you've aligned it properly, then you sew. You sew with half an inch. So guys, this is what we have after after joining. This is what we have. Okay, this is the inside and this is the outside. So I'll do the other one for the other side. So guys, this is what we have at the end of the day. And this is the inside. So now we are going to be stitching the side together but we are not stitching both the lining and the fabric together we'll be stitching them differently to achieve neat finish 
so watch me this is it lining to lining fabric to fabric can you see that this is the two main fabric this is the lining so you stitch lining to lining with your one inch sewing allowance you know we gave one inch sewing allowance so we are using that to stitch lining to lining fabric to fabric so guys this is what we have after joining the lining to lining and um, the fabric to fabric this is the lining to lining and this is the fabric to fabric okay this is the knit finishing we have in the inside and on the outside okay so it's time to join the base of our fabric the base of our dress rather it's time to join the base of our dress to the upper part So guys, we are joining the upper part and the lower part together, but we are joining only the right side. The lining is separate. I separated the lining. This is the, this is the lining here. I'm not joining it with the, the upper part. The lining for the upper part, I'm not joining it now. So I'm only joining the gathered two and the main fabric together with half inch remember we left half inch to join so you gather your two net and your lining and um, your satin fabric to the waist measurement of the child This is the dress. This is the dress. So beautiful. And this is the inner part of the dress. You can see I didn't join it with the lining. The lining is separate. This is the inside. So I'm going to attach the my the lower part lining to the upper part lining. Okay? like so this is the lower part lining and i'm going to attach it to the upper part lining so guys after joining everything this is what you have okay so you flip it over when you flip it over this is the inside of the dress and this is the outside this is the outside of the dress so we are going to be attaching our zipper to join the zipper part or to join the back side this is what you have to do simply from the half length see how I'm holding this the, the lining is separate on this side okay so this is the main main fabric so from the half length from the joining here at the half length you come down by five to six inches you come down to the base by five to six inches make sure you are holding the three together and after the five to six inches at the five inch mark or the six inch mark you sew up to two inch so assuming my um, i'm taking six inch so i'll sew up to this from this six inch i'll sew to eight inch i don't know if you get it so all you have to sew here together is from this six inch mark to this eight inch mark and after sewing this then you start sewing everything individually Okay, so I'm going to show us. Just watch what I will do. Okay, so from this waistline, I'm going to give my mark, my six inches mark or five inches mark. Okay. 
So here. I'm marking down my five inch and I'll mark down my seven inch. You know, I said from the waistline, come down to five inch or six inch, then come down again to another two inch after the five inch or six inch. So it's that two inch, this two inch, that's what I'm going to sew from here to here. That's what I'll sew together for us to be able to attach our zip. Then after here, every other thing will be sewn individually so try to pick everything up remember you have four layers on this side four layers on the other side so you bring that out the main reason you will be sewing everything else separately is because you don't want it to be bulged out in the front part. After sewing our 2 inches from the 5 inch 2 inches down, so I'm going to sew the net here separately and the lining separately, okay? So watch what I'll do. Make sure you're taking the whole net. Separate the net and the line. So here I have the whole net together. Okay? So you start sewing from where you stopped your two inches. So guys, at this point, just trim everything out for it to be very neat. Just trim them out. haven't joined the line the net together let's join the doll face so the doll face this is how you join the doll face okay you remember where you stopped your two inches that's where you're going to start from i remember the net shouldn't be involved again don't we shouldn't put the net again. This is how you join it. Only the doll face this time around. Only the doll face. Okay. This is what we have. Very neat in the inside. On the inside. And this is the net. The two net. Also very neat. Okay. Let's turn it to the right side of the fabric. Can we see this? This was joined separately and this separately. Okay. Okay, guys, to join the zipper, you join it like you, you would join a normal clothes. Just that this time you're joining only the the satin fabric and the two nets and the upper bodies see this this place is off this is the lining so this place is off we're trying to achieve neat finish so this place is off we, our zip will start from this place to where we stopped where we started our two inches from okay that is five or six inches below the waistline below the half length okay so you join your zipper the normal way you would have joined in a normal clothes. So guys, to turn the lining with the down part, okay, watch what I'm going to do. You have to flip the lining over. This zip this zipper here push it push it out like this then flip the lining over okay i've done this part you can see how neat this side is you can see 
so the neatness of this part the neat finishing that's what we're trying to achieve here so for for we to do that push this zipper here to this side you push it to this side flip it over all right and so so to where your two inches stops okay so as you flip it over like this you sew so i'm going to do that now so guys after sewing together with the lining the lining and the raw silk that is my doll face satin so I stopped at these two inches where I stopped the uh, the rest the rest of them so I'm going to sew my lining separately like we did for the satin okay so you flip it over sew your lining separately So all these rough edges, you're going to weave everything for neat finish. All these rough edges inside, you have to weave everything. Okay? So let's turn out the dress and see what we have. I'm so excited to see this. Guys, this is what we have at the end of the video. This is it. Perfectly finished. Perfectly done. Look at here, it aligns. Here aligns, here aligns. And you can see the rich texture, the softness we used on top of the bridal satin gives this um, dress. It gives it a rich texture. So you can now embellish with trim stones, pearls, and any other thing you want to put there, okay? Let's turn the inside and see what it looks like. Wow. Can we see this? Perfectly finished, neatly done. Can we see? There is no stitches that is showing. Everything is perfectly done. So I'll go ahead now to embellish it and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end of the video. All right? Um, please don't forget to like this video if it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. Kindly share my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. I promise to give you guys great videos, alright? Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to put on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks guys so much and see you at the end of the video. Bye! So guys, I'm still deciding what to do with this. If I'm going to leave it like this or I should do another thing with it all together.